Yo, what's up everyone? This is Kevinner back with another video. And in today I will be listing off the top 7 features or additions that I want to see in, in the new GT Online update that's set to drop later this summer. As you all know, a couple of weeks ago Rockstar made a, t a teaser on their newswire regarding this year's summer update, which revolves around underground street racing and boosting cars. As I'm recording this video, we don't have a confirmed release date nor a title for the update, so for the sake of it, I'm just going to reference it as a other tuners and outlaws update. I know it may seem like a clickbait tab, but <laughs> for the sake of the video, I got to name it somehow. So anyways, for this list, I'm going to list off additions or changes that Rockstar should really add in this update that would not only make it successful, but to improve this game in general. So without further, without wasting any more time, let's get right to it. Now, starting out with this list is a mobile custom shop. So pretty much how will this work, it's basically kind of like an MOC Mark II, but instead you have the option to pretty much customize any like any car in the game, like ranging from sports cars, supercars, off-roaders, you name it, you can all customize in this right here. And that's what really disappointed me about the MOC that we had since Gun Running during 2017. Is like, like sure you can customize weaponize like cars like as you can see I'm customizing the Tampa right here But the sad thing is you can't really like customize any supercars whatsoever So you can only customize special vehicles, which it's kind of a bummer like I really wish With the MOC you can really like Like you can really like just customize any supercar. So if you if you don't know what exactly what I'm talking about Let me show you. Let me show you guys Alright, so I brought up my super right here, and yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about right here. So I'm gonna pull up to my MOC, and look at that. It just doesn't let me customize it. So this is this is personally that I've been wanting in GT Online since since the MOC came out. It's pretty much like an, pretty much like an MOC Mark II, which is customize any car in between. So how it will work is it's almost like the MOC. It's kind of like how you spawn the MOC. You just go to your services and you just spawn. Now you just spawn it from right there, and on uh, and uh, with this you don't need to eat, need any special any special property whatsoever. Let's hope that's not the case with this summer update. And you could just like spawn it straight off straight up from the get go, and yeah, you could just bring out any car that you want to customize, and so without having to rush into your office, rush to Benny's, which I'll talk about later on. Or just like rush to the the nearest Los Santos custom Los Santos customs. So yeah, that would definitely save a lot of time. And on top of that, with this um, mobile custom shop, you have the option to to add, add in throw in a Benny's mechanic, mechanic, which which is kind of similar to the to the arena. Like you you can have the option to either put in a weapons mechanic or or a Benny's mechanic, which brings me to my next point. Bring back Benny's. So ever since the Los Santos summer summer special update, Rockstar has actually added in uh, a few a few more Benny's cars. So they actually brought back Benny's back to business ever since the import export update since during December 2016. So it's crazy that after four years, Rockstar has brought back Benny's back into business, which a lot of us were excited for including myself then they brought in tons of good cars like the Gondi Classic Custom, the Yuga Classic 4x4 and um, the Yosemite Rancher, tons of other cars here and there and we were hoping with the guy pretty go high street they would actually uh, keep Benny's going forward unfortunately that was not the case and um, since this update is based around um, underground street racing I personally feel like it's a perfect time to bring back Benny's and then spend like what <laughs> It's been like almost a year ever since August of 2020. That's when um, Benny's actually made his appearance after what ever since 2016. So yeah, I, I person and I do feel it's very likely that Benny's will indeed return into the into this year's summer update. But I just I just thought of this and I just been really thinking this hard. Like, what if Benny's came back, but this time. But this time, we have the option to choose, like, different build types. So, Rockstar can actually take inspiration from the Need for Speed games, or, like, specifically Payback and Heat. Or, like, if you take a car into Benny's, or you could turn, you, or if you, like, put it into the, the mobile custom shop, as I stated earlier, you have the option to, like, really choose which build 
that you want to go for. So what I'm what I'm pretty much just like talking about is that you can choose which build you want to do. Do you want to go for a street build? Do you want to go for a drift build? Off-road, drag build? I mean, you name it, really. And plus, with these like different types of builds, you have you have like the different customization options. Like if it's an off-roader, you have the option to lift the suspension. Uh, with the drift build, you have the option to like, add more grips to the tires or like slam or camber it or whatever. Uh, with the drag build, I guess like like adding more downforce to the back and like putting like thicker tires or whatever, whatever the case may be, or maybe like uh, I don't know on a big drag <laughs> but yeah <laughs> so yeah, they can really they can really take those ideas from the need from need for speed games which is pretty much i mean if you really think about it that's really what this update's based around it's based around um underground street racing and boosting cars whatnot but yeah i personally feel that bennies will indeed make a return and hopefully if rockstar doesn't bring bennies into the summer update i do feel that they really like they had like a missed opportunity, yeah. Honestly, there's, there's, there should be no reason why to not bring back Bennies and an underground street racing update. So yeah, this is definitely what I'm really looking for. If Bennies actually came back, a lot of people would need have more fun just customizing these cars and whatnot. And also like the mobile the custom shop, as I stated earlier. And I really hope Bennies makes a return. Number five is an import export part two. So as so Rockstar stated in the news where that this update will evo involve around vehicle robber vehicle robberies. So uh, when I was reading when I was reading that one little paragraph, I was actually assuming that we might have an import export part two. So that's that's what my assumption was. But I I think everyone can agree with me on that. So yeah, pretty much how it work. It was pretty it would be pretty much like kind of like import like bring back import export i mean as we as we speak right now um import export is double money this week so i'd suggest to take advantage of that um that's not the point of the video when i'm this is probably what everyone's looking for just like let's just like boosting more cars and making money out of it now if they're gonna throw in these like vehicle robbers or import export part two whatever the case may be they better not, and I repeat, and I hope this this doesn't come in the next update. They actually make it, and then and then like the next low Lamar low rider missions. I'm sorry guys, but yeah, I really hope that this doesn't become like the next low rider mission, next low rider missions by Lamar. Well, it pretty much be like five contact missions, and like the first time you do, you get paid like what a hundred grand, and then the second time you only get fifteen grand out of it. Let us saw that was not the case. But that's a really disappointed me with the casino missions i was at in the casino update back in the summer 2019 where they where they made this really amazing story which paid out really good if you didn't the first time i think it was like 50 grand to begin with and if you do it the second time it would be pay like 15 grand it's 15 grand instead and then after that nobody really no one did those missions like even even when they're double money, like nobody did this casino story missions. Like the point I'm trying to make here is if they're gonna if they're gonna make like a vehicle like if they're gonna add doing like this like vehicle robbery missions, make them like import make it like a part two of import export or even better yet make it like make it like a heist out of it, where you can either rob them so where you can either rob this rob these cars and you know, sell them to buyers or whatever. Like you have the option to do it solo, or you have the option to do it with the full team, kind of like in the guy you go heist, but instead you're like boosting cars. So that's that's what's really looking for. But if you turn these into contact missions, no one's no one's gonna play them afterwards, even when they're double money. So please, so please, Rockstar, don't make don't turn these into contact missions. Just make like a part two of import export, or even a heist. Better yet. Next up, more car me locations. So Rockstar also confirmed on the newswire. That we're gonna be having more like Carmi locations that, that are like more isolated. One of my what this is mean is that they're not gonna be like adding more Carmi locations where like nobody can fuck it up. Like not even a person can even stop like and blow shit up. Because <laughs> for those who had Carmi in public sessions, they all know exactly how they end. There's always that one asshole and any oppressor blowing shit up. And they had to pay like hundreds or thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars. But even worse, summon something orbital cannon, 
which is probably like the lowest move you can make in GTA Online. You're just grabbing, just grabbing the overall cannon, and just like blowing the entire car meat. Well, that's a well. On the plus side, Rockstar also stated that with these new car meat locations, no, like nobody can interfere. So, like as you can, as for this example, this is the the parking lot inside the casino, like. As you can see, I can now use my weapons in here, which is really makes that idea for car shows. Like I've seen a lot of people like host car meet, host car shows, inside of this parking lot, and the, and honestly, I think that's a great idea since like you can now use your weapons in here. Um, nobody can interfere interfere whatsoever. So, and I have actually like thought of some good car meet locations ideas. So, which I'll show right now. Now the first location that Rockstar can really come up with is like the center of the sewers. Now y'all may recognize this area from either the, the jewelry store highest in the story mode where y'all are escaping the jewelry store. Or from the diamond casino highest where you're just like, you know, walking out of, this cas walking out of the casino if you were to choose the sewers escape plan. So, um, this, I feel, this, this area just seems a it's just really isolated, like no cops, no players can really intervene unless they're like an insurgent or an oppressor whatsoever. But other than that, this this seems like a good area. And I've seen a few people um, just chill right here, like showing off their cars or whatnot. One bad thing I will say about this area is just that they, there's also a gang attack, as you can see right here. You see this like red area where I'm at. This is actually a gang. This is actually a gang area. Another bad thing is there's also like a train passing by. Oh my god, let me get rid of this guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just had to. But anyways, but another bad thing I would have to say is that there's also a train a train passing by. So I guess we could, it could do it and I just fucking died. But anyways, I'm um, getting back to the area. Uh, one, another bad thing I would say about this area is just, it's just that there's also a, a train passing by. So uh, I guess I guess what, guess what Rockstar could do is just like, put like a barricade or whatsoever. But other than that, this this seems like a good area, and I know I just fucking died twice, but who cares? That that doesn't even matter in this video. But yeah, this is also a good area. They could really, I could see this area as a as a like as a good carmine area. This this place this area does it definitely has some potential. Another area they can really go for is this is this part this is a little parking lot near the mall. That's like that's like near this look this Los Santos Customs right here. Now this is the same area. This in this area, man. All everyone knows is that there's a stunt shop right here. But yeah, uh, this is this is definitely a good this is definitely a good option to host car meets. And uh, it's it's a, it's a less isolated than the uh, than the sewers. But all in all, I can see this as I can see Rockstar actually making this a car meet location. Now, um, let me know down below if there's any locate there's any like locations throughout the city, uh, where like. Or it's perfect car meet for it's perfect for car meets, but yeah. Uh, Y'all welcome to let me know down below. And one last thing, uh, when it's said about like like car meet locations, like like no one can interfere. I think that, like how that would work is that like, you get into like a separate session, and then you can, you have the option to like invite your friends over, maybe like a maximum of like 20 or 25 people, um, give or take. And and then how would it work is that like y'all y'all host the car meets. Uh, you get to choose out uh, like what car you want to bring or whatever and how it will work is like Once everyone's done like showing off their cars uh, The leader has the can they send like a vote like a voting system Where like everyone would choose like which car looks the best kind of like a regular like how kind of like how like a regular car me would work was like where everyone show off the cars and like the host uh, kind of like has to choose like which car looks the best and in his opinion and all, and also there were, there will be indeed, how I have some like good prizes, so that will kind of like give an incent, give everyone an incentive to host car meets in a different session. So first place, uh, I guess that could be like 1.5 million. Second place can be like uh, I don't know 700k, and then third place will probably get like 200k. So yeah, that's how I, that's how I personally think that how these um car meets would work. Um, take this with a grain of salt. We have obviously this is this is not confirmed by Rockstar. I'm just I'm just giving up my speculation. So take this with a grain of salt. So yeah, that's that's how I think that the car meets would actually work. Uh, if you guys agree with with these two locations that I got that I thought that I thought of it that I thought out, let me know down below.
Now, I didn't really think about this sooner. If someone were to throw in an RPG and to mess up the mess up the entire car show, then that person immediately just gets just really kicks out, kicks out of the session and they can no longer join back until the car show is over. So that's probably how how that will work. I'm just realizing that. But yeah, I'm um, moving on, and that is more Mark II weapons. Now, ever since the Doomsday he the Doomsday Heist came out in December 2017. We haven't really got any like new um, Mark II weapons, like so. It's been like four years since we got a new Mark II weapon, and I do, and I, I do indeed have some ideas. That like I do have a few weapon ideas that should really be a Mark II, definitely be Mark II weapons. So, which I'm about to show right now. Just let me head. I'm just gonna head out on my terabyte. And these two weapons, these two weapons should definitely be a Mark II variant. These are two weapons. That I have been asking for a Mark II variant ever since like Doomsday Heist came out. So first off is the AP pistol, Undoubt undoubtedly one of the undoubtedly one of the best pistols in the game and also the best drive-by in the game. The fact that you can use it in your car and that's also it's also automatic. Just that's where it really shines. It's perfect for contact missions, um, heist preps. I mean, you name it. And also combined with the armored Karoma, this definitely works best. So honestly, I've I've always wanted a always wanted an AP pistol mark to maybe throw out some hollow points that could probably like increase the chances of success in contact missions. But yeah, this is some the, the AP pistol is something I always wanted. I bet everyone can agree with me right here. Um, next up is a homing launcher mark two. Now the now I know what you guys are thinking. What? Why in the hell would you want a homing launcher mark two? Hear me out. So, this home, the home and launcher that we currently have in game, like the, like when I when I first played GTA Online back in twenty back in late twenty seventeen, I always thought that since this since the home and launcher is in the game, like I always thought that it, it had like Akron missiles. And unfortunately, I was I was too stupid to realize that it doesn't. So, pretty much how this will work. It's like you take the homing launcher Mark II in, inside your turbine for, as in this case, or MLC or Avenger or Submarine or Arena Workshop, and you have the option to turn it into a Mark II variant. And with that Mark II variant, you pretty much have the option to switch up the types of missiles it has. So like, like for example, like, and I do have some ideas right here. So, um, high-powered missiles, which, which are basically kind of like the, the missiles on the homing launcher, but instead they do more damage. Uh, it's the those missiles would kind of like like have their damage like on par with the R, with RPG in a way, so I could see that happening. And obviously they gotta rebalance it. So instead of holding 20 missiles, you gotta hold like I don't know seven or ten, maybe less than that. I mean, who knows? Another another type of missiles that they can throw an incendiary. Which it wouldn't necessarily like destroy the vehicle, but it would just like set them on fire. It probably need like one shot just to really like set set a vehicle on fire. So yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm personally thinking. Another one. This is probably the most highly requested one, and that is Runer missiles. So if you ever like cruised around in a Runer 2000 on GTA, I mean y'all know that the Runer 2000 has undoubt like has the most Accurate missiles in the game and with those missiles they have been dragged onto other other vehicles and more recent updates like the Stromberg The Oppressor Mark II, the Vigilante um, The Toreador, the Scramjet just to really name a few uh, But what if those missiles Were on the homing launcher Mark II and this could be this could be a good way to fight back against the Oppressor Mark II Without having to use another oppressor mark two or the strom or stromberg or toreador, I don't know. But yeah, this is definitely an idea that I've really thought of, really thought off of. And I actually took this idea from Galen Master, which I'll link down, which I'll link his channel down below. So yeah, I did see one of his videos a while back. Like what? I can't remember what it was. I think it was like additions I want to see in future updates. I think that's the video. And he talked about a homing launcher mark two, which. At first, I thought he was insane, but once he said that the homing launcher Mark II should definitely have like 
Runer missiles just to counter the Pressure Mark 2. I actually like that idea. I, I really did. And this is something that I really want to see in GTA Online. I mean, of course, there's tons of other weapons that we could also see as Mark II variants like the Advanced Rifle and also the... What's that? The Advanced Rifle and the... The Military Rifle, probably the Military Rifle. That's less likely to become a, a Mark II variant, but we shall... I mean, this is Rocks that we're talking here. So, I mean, you never know. So, the Advanced Rifle is definitely a good idea. Um, probably the Micro SMG, since the Micro SMG is probably the most shittiest SMG in the game, without a doubt. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, the Machine Pistol, definitely, definitely a good option right there. And I guess they could throw in the, the Mini SMG as well. And, and I guess the Assault SMG could really be a good idea as well. And I guess if we could also add in the PDW, and also the Assault Off Shotgun. This is also this is also another good idea as well. This is also another another weapon I, I I've been requesting in GTA Online ever since. So yeah, this and I really hope in the future and I really hope in this update Rockstar act decides to add in more more Mark II weapons in the, in this summer update because it's been like four years I said since we got them since we got a more more Mark II weapons. So I really hope Mark II weapons actually make a return. In this summer update next on the list is quality of life changes so this was this was originally on my list and this was originally on my kaya pitico heist wish list and in that video i only talking about one quality of life change was like pretty much nerf the oppressor mark 2 which is like something that i always seen never do but yeah, but yeah we shall see um uh, but this time i've really thought i really put some thought into it one quality of life change and this is something we can all agree on and that and that is separating aircrafts from personal vehicles now what do i mean now what do i mean by is is if you're driving your your personal car right here as you, as you can see i'm driving my corvette and i want to spawn let's say my hydra but unfortunately i have to get out of my car because like for some reason Rockstar won't let me spawn a jet and a car at the same time. Like like honestly that doesn't really make any sense. Like why in the hell does a, a jet fall in the same category as as a personal car? Like like I understand that they're both personal vehicles, but like come on. Do we really have to take like a straight car just to get to our jets? Like now that's just straight up stupid, don't you? But this is definitely one change that I, I think I speak for everyone here. This is definitely one change that the entire GTA community has been requesting ever since Smugglers Run. Like, like it's just like it's just straight up stupid. Since like we, like I really wish we can actually use our use our personal vehicles to actually get to our personal aircraft. Like, like I know and, and like I know like they're both like they both are personal vehicles, but why do they fall in the same category? Like honestly, to me. And that really doesn't make any sense. Like, why, why can't we spawn a car and a jet at the same time? Like, to me, to me, it's just straight up stupid. I, I like, I really wish in this update they really bring in this. I really, they really bring in this change in, because because there is no reason that we should. We need to take an NPC car just to get to the beach, or yeah, just to get to the beach because that because that's where most. That's where that's where the most common place where people spawn spawn their jets, but yeah, but yeah, this is definitely one change that we've been all requesting, and we were really hoping, in the Kaya Pitico Heist update, they would actually bring actually change, make this change, but unfortunately, that was never the case. And I also thought the same as the Los Santos Summer Special update, since they brought in all tons of good quality of life changes, this unfortunately was wasn't one of them. Another quality of life change I want to see is nerfing the orbital cannon. Now, ever since the Doomsday Heist back in December 2017, the orbital cannon has been, has been a real pain in the ass in GTA Online. On top of that, there is even a glitch where you can actually get like a, an infinite number of shots without having um, getting your money refunded. But since the casino update, which came out in December, which came out in the summer of 2019, I mean. Uh, Rockstar actually patched it, so so how it will work is basically like if you were to if you were to miss your shot, 
you don't you don't get your money refunded and that pretty much just stopped the orbital cam spent which was definitely a good thing about a year later with the summer special update unfortunately rockstar stated on the news why after the update came out they actually brought back the orbital candy glitch so pretty much you'll get they pretty much reverted able to how it was back in 2017 if you missed your shot you give it you would get your money refunded which was which was not which was not good on rockstar's part like like i don't know why they did that i don't know why they brought back the orbital cannon glitch it's just like like let me ask you all this what what is the real purpose of the orbital cannon i mean the only purpose i could think of the only two purposes i could think of was one so tryhards tryhards can do that one old bullshit like oh well, no you got destroyed orbital cannon takes skill i mean yeah you, you know you've seen it before two is also cargo griefing but but let's be real here. Those are not really purposes. If you actually like cargo grief with the orbital cannon, you're a real piece of shit. Let's just say that. So I really hope that Rockstar actually reverts the orbital cannon back to how it was in the summer 2019, where if you miss your shot, you don't get your you you don't get your money back. That's how that's how it should always stay that way, and maybe that will stop the orbital cannon spam. Now before we hit to the number one spot, I do have an honorable mention on this list, and that is no militarization, which basically means I don't want to see no jets, I don't want to see no tanks, I don't want to see any APCs, any weaponized vehicles of any kind in a tuners and outlaws update. Like honestly, we 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 already have a fair amount. And since this update's based around like underground street racing, and also boosting cars or whatnot. Like I personally don't think that weaponized cars really like suit the update. Like, yeah, but that's just my opinion. Honestly, I don't want to see a single weaponized car or weaponized vehicle or whatever, like a jet or whatever the case may be. Like, I don't want to see any of that in this in the summer update. And at number one, the number one thing that the tuners and the outlaws update really needs to have is cars that have been highly requested by the by the GTA car community now since the last update that got your pretty cool heist since despite the fact that Rockstar advertised it as the biggest update ever the drift fee was just was just downright disappointing I mean sure there were a few got a few good cars here and there like the Italia RSX and the Toreador but the, other than that the the drift fee was just it went all down to shit I'm gonna just let's be honest here like like most of the, like the most of the vehicles were sure were sure indeed weaponized, but they didn't offer any uses. And with this tuners and outlaws update, like this is something that this update really needs. It's like cars that have been highly requested by the community for years and years, ever since 2013. Like and in this Camaro Z01 and the RX7 on the left, these two these two cars are a perfect example. Like honestly, I've been wanting these cars ever since JT Online like first launch and also the first time I played but yeah the, the RX-7 we don't have that in the game neither do we have like a modern Camaro like this these are like two of the main cars I've been asking for for Rockstar to drop in like in previous updates I was hoping with the guy pretty go heist they would drop these two cars but no unfortunately they didn't and those are not only the two cars I want I mean look at the look at this Ram TRX right here this is definitely one. This is one hell of an off-road truck, and I can imagine this competing with the Camacho. Really, I can really imagine that. Hell, even this um, 350Z over here. I mean, sure we have this ZR380, but that thing you can't even change it, like customize it to like a cleaner version of like without without like the spikes and the armor plating and whatnot. So this is definitely uh, another car I've been asking for a long time. And last but not least is the BMW i8. Now we don't really have like a modern BMW in GTA as far as I know. Well, if you're well excluding the Oracle and the and the Sentinel, but those cars have been has been there since 2013. We we haven't really had like and like a modern BMW like this one for example in previous updates. So I mean this I mean it's just five cars right here. I mean there's tons of more cars I've been I've been wanting for for a while now. If you guys want, I can make a I can make a video. I'm just listening on my car wish list. Like, what cars do I want in the update? So, yeah, if this if this video gets enough likes, I'll definitely make that video uh, on the wish list of cars I want to see in the update. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of cars that 
tons of cars that like that the car community has been asking for years as i said before and that's what really makes jt online like very like such such a special game it's just like the variety of vehicles like you really pick up and like how you can customize them here and there so yeah that's definitely what i'm looking for and that is highly requested cars like if they're really throwing these types of if, if they really throw in these cars uh, that I just listed off before, I mean, they don't have to, but yeah, like, if they actually throw in these cars, if they actually like throwing these cars as part of the drip for the tuners and outlaws update, and then a lot of people, like, will get back on the game, probably like, customize the cars however they like, and yeah, that would really increase the chances of making this update successful, even though it's, it's going to be a small update, but regardless... Um, just because an update's small doesn't mean it doesn't have like a good variety of vehicles added. Like look at the summer special update. We got the Corvette C8. Uh, j that's just one example, but yeah. <laughs> so I really hope that Rockstar actually adds like good cars. Well, let's hope it doesn't become a Kaya Pinnacle Heist where they just add in like shitty weaponized cars that have like no uses whatsoever. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. Those are my top. That's, this is my top seven wish list of like features, additions, or changes that I want to see in the Tuners and Outlaws update coming this that's coming this summer. So um, drop a like if you all agree with my list. Subscribe if you're new and turn on those notices as well so y'all can stay tuned when I drop some more content. And if you guys want, you can drop your list down in the comments of what features what features like you want in this update. And that's all I have for you guys. So this is gonna be Kevin signing off.